Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies. And as some Nintendo classic hits play in the background, you'll be watching me. Oh, also, there will be some Tank Baby plinky plonking away <laughs> in the background as well. Uh, you'll be hearing me talk about how I've been grinding out today's special task. I'll probably have time to pick up another one or two, judging from the rate at which I was able to accomplish this one. But uh, to catch up on <laughs> yesterday's video, or I guess it would be today's. Anyway, uh, last night Tank Baby really wanted to go for a walk in the middle of the night. Super cute. Uh, she also wasn't wearing pants, but that didn't really stop her. I did though, and I told her, we'll go for a walk tomorrow. Well, she didn't forget my promise, because early in the morning, before she even had breakfast, she was going and getting her shoes and asking me to go for a walk. <laughs> so we did. In the early morning for me, which is like 8 a.m., I know, I'm not a morning person. Uh, we went out, and uh, I was still in my pajamas, as was she, <laughs> and we went for a walk. And yes, uh, we did get an odd look or two uh, from the people that were like, What? <laughs> but it's, I guess it's still a little bit less weird than going for a walk in the middle of the night. But we were talking about special tasks. So, we are in the midst of an arcade special task. And unlike your daily tasks, you choose the specific special task. So instead of having one option for each game mode uh, you choose the one and it's bound to that game mode this one bound to arcade as you can tell and we are on a mission as we get a nice shot into the lower plate of that tiger at 6-3 uh, the T-28 is an incredible tank destroyer we are on a mission to play battles of three getting place one to three in the team. We've already completed one of our battles wherein we scored highly and we have two more to go. You're gonna see these next two battles back to back and I just didn't have the audio set up properly for the first battle and that's the only reason I didn't include it. Perhaps also it's wise to limit the length of my videos to some extent on account of Tank Baby does need that attention. We get some speculative shots into the B-24 and set him a fuego. It is going to take him a while to get finished off. I am enjoying the guns on this. What is this? A Yak-3? Yak-9? I'm not quite sure. Looks like a Yak to me though. Uh, not a water buffalo, although I've heard mine is fast, but yours is slow. Uh, <laughs> as the B-25 uh, goes low, we're now examining the battlefield below. Looking for anything open top, and we have a candidate here. Not exactly open top, but we'll open it up a little bit. As he stops and backs to avoid taking critical damage, uh, such is not the case, although that B-25 was able to take us down in a glorious manner that also happens to line up with the music we were listening to quite well. Oh snap! And it is an intense battle in the arcade. Always feels a little bit more chill and victorious when you're in something as powerful frontally as the T-28. It's sort of the Sherman Jumbo experience in slow motion, <laughs> only you get a decent cannon. And here you see us switching directly to the anti-aircraft armament to target some enemy fighters. Again, great way to harvest points. If you have not set up controls to specifically control your AA armament, I highly recommend you do so, especially for any of the American vehicles, of which there are many that have that pintle mounted uh, 50 cal on the roof. Very effective when you control it specifically, especially in arcade where you get that lead indicator, but even in RB uh, because you have much higher degree of accuracy and awareness of your weapon when you're controlling it directly as opposed to using the manual fire controls while controlling the main gun. Be sure that you also familiarize yourself 
with how to swap back to the main gun rapidly, or you may encounter some unwanted issues when in the heat of combat. Speaking of, this Faka Wolf on our tail definitely wants us. Uh, we fly straight and open up with the gunners, just hoping to score some hits. Uh, it's clearly too late for us to defend ourselves. Not really a lot you can do against an enemy fighter in arcade that's on your tail in this game mode, but that's okay. We'll get our revenge as we take down yet another Tiger One from the front. The poor fella did not stand a chance. And once more into the air with us, we are going for points and the best, most reliable and quickest way to garner points if you know your stuff in the air is in the air. And you may have noticed from my RB shenanigans in 6-3 Americans and 6-7 Germans, even 5-3 uh, Germans now, that I definitely enjoy my air shenanigans. As we get some nice little hits into that uh, Dicker Max, swoop in, take down the Spaghetti AA, and manage to not crash into the ground. Russian bias confirmed as we swoop in to try and finish off the dicker or at least get some nice crits into him we definitely achieve the latter having shredded most everything in his aircraft those soviet 20 mils are very very effective for ground strike another shot going in toward a tiger p deflected off the side of his turret just inches from what would have been a one-shot KO as the music backs us up in its intensity. Our team not doing so well, ourselves not caring all that much because our goal is to play battles where we score highly. It actually favors us if our team doesn't do so well. Helps us to get that big achievement. And you hear <laughs> Tank Baby informing me that it's a uh-oh situation which basically means something just fell out of something. <laughs> she's uh, she's playing with her food. Uh, she A few days ago, she asked me for some caca, which means cracker, cookie, or chips. In other words, she wanted some junk food, and Daddy is generally very willing to oblige. She's a very healthy baby, very active, and she's ridiculously slim. Even though I want her to be a chubby baby. I've done everything I can to fatten her up. It's just not working. She's too wiggly. <laughs> so She was asking for some snack food. Uh, and I said, go get your dish. And I pointed to her little... She has these awesome little stainless steel pots and pans. that are like child size, but actually made of great materials. Uh, and she plays with them all the time. So she goes and she gets her dish. As you look at the rewards we got there real quick, we're very shortly into another battle. I cut forward just a bit in time here, just to save a bit of time. We were getting into position on this very familiar map. Uh, the A point on this one, I think it's the A point, tends to be uh, where all the action is. It's where battles are won and lost, in my humble opinion. Although, a quick cap on the B or C point can be advantageous. The B point tends to be contested, yeah, oh, quite heavily. As we try once again to get the Coppola shot on that very passive IS-2, uh, he was lurking up there, not really taking shots at anyone, uh, and just... I don't know, maybe he just wanted to bounce shots with his Coppola, who's to say? Maybe he was a bot, I don't know. Um, I doubt that he was a bot, though. It's difficult to make those work in War Thunder. Uh, ask the dev team about how AIs worked for them. <laughs> Not even they can get bots to work in this game. <laughs> anyway, get pumped. Get pumped. Pumped up, because we're in the spot we like. And if we're lucky, we'll get kills. And lots of points from bouncing shots. Uh, do -do 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 I love me. That is Mega Man music, isn't it? Uh, anyway, it's good stuff. Can we make the shot? No, he's peeking into cover. Everybody's playing rather passively now. There we are. Just not quite where we needed it to be. That's okay. We have plenty of time to derp around here. Garnering points by bouncing shots. And we take that hit into the cannon barrel. 
easy to knock out the cannon barrel of the T28. It has a massive muzzle break and not a lot of hit points, which ends up being a severe detriment to its survivability. And then it's a 30 second repair. Ah, oh, as or I should say, it's 30 second repair in RB, uh, a little bit lower in arcade, and we. We fired our shot just before the barrel was repaired, so that is going to be another missed opportunity. Azeron comes in taking down our track. Again, switch to the AA, do what we can, try and shoot some enemies while the main gun reloads, and we get taken down by a side shot from a Tiger. Very strong position I was in, although very, very open to flanking from the enemy team. It's sort of a high risk, high reward situation, and that's what we were going for. We considered using a backup vehicle. We do have a few, and I don't generally make use of those. But we decide instead to go out with the M26 T99. You'll notice that none of my tanks have their custom camouflages on them today. Uh, that is just one of those issues with War Thunder that pops up every now and then. After there's a, a patch of some kind, uh, it'll often cease recognizing my custom camos. Hopefully that gets uh, remedied soon. It is a little bit annoying. I love my custom camos. Anyway, we try the rockets on, I believe that's a T-3485. If my elven eyes don't deceive here as I watch in the video editor, we decide to push up. M26 has uh, enough advantages in arcade against a T-3485 to play semi-aggressively, but we decide to jump into an air battle. Again, we're here for points, and air is a very reliable way to acquire those. We're in a Focke Wolf, and it's head-on with two enemy attack, or should say intercept planes. Our rounds make it to the enemy, shredding him, but not before his 50s deal critical, critical damage to our plane. American 50 cals, consistently strong, even very effective in arcade battles, something to consider. They're very good at setting fires and ripping wings, and because of their fast fire rate, high velocity, uh, they can do well even in a head-on situation. So, now we're once again pushing over the hill very carefully. Notice how we didn't push over at max speed, uh, at, at a slow rate of speed. Everybody has a stabilizer in arcade, sort of a low level stabilization. Uh, so if you're moving slowly, you can often get that snapshot on the enemy before they have a chance to take you down. And the M26 has some reasonably reliable turret and mantlet armor. So that ends up being a good strategy for us, as you see. The Tiger, not so well equipped in the armor department. The armor itself of the Tiger is rather strangely um, apportioned. The turret, with some, some very, very thick, even overlapping armor in some cases, and then some glaring weak spots, because reasons. And the whole, uh, well, a pancake flat 100 millimeters almost no angle, and yet some odd constructive slopes as well. Definitely not what I would call the most efficiently designed vehicle as uh, German tankers cover their mouths in shock and awe. It really could have used something more along the armor layout of, say, the Sherman tank, a superior heavy. <laughs> as we once again go for the open deck of that it was I think that was an M18 we we went after a couple of M36s and M18s during this match in the air and that definitely paid off for us uh, T26 again this is as we control the anti-aircraft gun a medium tank so no need to be very aggressive here as we pick our targets take our targets of opportunity we're not going for a win here we're just going for as many hits, kills, assists, and battle activity as we can get to score those points. One of the things I enjoy about Arcade is it's often, and this is sort of an odd thing to say, it's often difficult to really change the course of a battle, so you don't have to feel so bad if you're losing because, well, frankly, it's probably not your fault. <laughs> 
and uh, often the tide of the battle is determined early after that first wave but you can still have lots of fun and when the enemy is pushing toward your spawn that just gives you more targets if you play a more defensive or responsive playstyle you can often get some good results there's that is2 still camping up there uh, still being rather useless when it comes to targeting people in my area of the map uh, I really wonder what he was doing perhaps he was going for the longer range shots and thus didn't really care about my shenanigans in any event I appreciate that his eye was turned to some other location Perhaps he was alt-tabbed. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he had an emergency need to deal with a personal issue. Who's to say? But issues aside, we're now going to requisition some American 50 caliber ammunition toward the area of enemy advance. And, uh, well, I don't think we're going to catch up to this Japanese attacker soon enough to send him the good news via our... Uh, our lead indicator but we'll do our best anyway spraying in his general direction hoping for a hit if he does slam into the ground uh, we may even get the kill and now actually we do catch up to him in time to catch that lead and a nice fire being set obviously for most Japanese aircraft that is a death sentence now back to open top vehicles hello M36 goodbye M36 M18 how's your father kill assist we'll take it <laughs> and we get thoroughly wiped by that Italian AA just as well something also killed us while we were in the air but that's okay we scored plenty of points the match is soon to end definitely not the best time to pick up a backup vehicle it's just about over but we definitely had enough score to place highly in our team enough to finish our daily task or I should say not daily task our special task and that will be just about it for this video I definitely had a good time American 63 premium vehicle lineup is both profitable and powerful uh, even in arcade matches and again I encourage you to try out different game modes especially if there's an opportunity for you to finish a special task or daily task the easy way and with that it's been nice catching up with you guys today feel free to join the discord link in the description and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.